Sahara to Amazon? A surprising lifeline, two opposite worlds, connected by dust. Winds carry tiny mineral particles across an ocean. About 27 million tons of Sahara dust reach the Amazon each year. That's like more than 100,000 fully loaded semi-trucks. Dust travels over 5,000 kilometers on wind currents. Most originates in the Bodel Depression in Chad. Ancient lake sediments are rich in phosphorus and iron. Strong winds lift fine particles into the atmosphere. They ride the Saharan air layer, a warm, dry plume. Trade winds carry dust westward across the Atlantic. Particles stay aloft long enough to cross the ocean. When rain arrives, it washes dust down onto the forest floor. Deposition peaks in the wet season when wash-off is strongest. That dust becomes a vital external nutrient source. Key minerals include phosphorus and iron. Amazon soils are surprisingly nutrient-poor and need replenishing. Dust supplies roughly 22,000 tons of phosphorus each year. Some dust fuels ocean phytoplankton, the base of the marine food web. Dust also reaches the Caribbean, affecting reefs and soils. Even distant soils can benefit from nutrient deposition, but this supply is vulnerable to climate change. Land degradation and human activity can reduce dust sources. Protecting hotspots like Bodell is key to maintaining the flow. Scientists use satellites and fieldwork to track these connections. It's a powerful example of Earth's long-range links. What happens in one place can shape ecosystems thousands of kilometers away, from desert sand to rainforest canopy, nature's invisible lifeline. Protecting both regions matters for the whole planet. Subscribe for more short science stories. Nature is connected.